does its thing. Uh, thank you for joining me. We are back. I was just working on some of uh, the commissions real quick when I woke up. I gotta be honest, I don't know what the robot is doing. <laughs> I don't feel like they're doing anything. Could be wrong. Let's check this from Elsie. Uh, I done did it. I ran away. I can't live in the house and right my wrongs at the same time. I ain't a kid and I don't need to be treated like one. So I'm gone and I don't know when I'm gonna be coming back. Luckily I prepared, took everything from my treasure chest. I gone to a real quiet place, somewhere I could think for a while. Uh, come meet me at the cave I told you about. I reckon it's best if we talk. And please don't tell anyone else. I just need a couple days to think. Chasing out. Don't worry, Mabel. We'll find her. She's... she's out there alone. We'll let you know if there's any news. Now, go and rest up, you hear? Oh, hey. So you heard about, uh, Elsie, right? It's a tough thing having your daughter going missing like that. I ain't envying them ranch folks one bit. I'm still gathering information on the case. You're a friend, right? Can I ask you something? When did you last see her? Okay, got it. Nah, anything that thinks she might have run away? An argument? Interesting. Adds up with what the parents were saying. All right, last up. Do you remember anything that could have given you a hint that she just ghosts like this? Did she ever talk about it before? Yeah, I know she's a tough gal, but it's still dangerous around Sand Rock. I'm kind of worried. Anyway, thanks for your help, partner. I gotta go write all this up. If you hear anything else, just let me know, okay? Any result? Hmm, so no one's read that book of Miguel's. And Burgess said he'd never heard any sermons out of it. That's a relief. I thought about it more and more while you were gone. I mean, what if Miguel really started convincing people to see Duvos in a positive light? That would have unimaginable consequences. And the sheet music? <laughs> it's full of mistakes? Hmm. Make no mistake, these errors may not yet be erroneous, but rather omissions of intention. Can I take a look? I see. Aha, uh -huh. I've got it. It's a code, or rather, a key to a cipher. The lyrical mistakes are particularly placed. Left, three, right, five, up, eight, down, seven. If we use this cipher, we can crack any message intended for Pen or Miguel. Hmm. Hmm. And the musical mistakes? I spot five of them. Five numbers in your average radio frequency. Doubt that's a coincidence. That music must be the frequency they're operating on. And this frequency is different from what we intercepted before. That means Duvos knew we were listening before, and the telegrams they sent us must have been fishing operations to get me and Logan into the open. Dang, we did it! We can put our interrogation on hold. We've got everything we need to find the secret telegraph station right here. Exactly. We can pretend to be Penn. We send encoded messages out on the agreed upon frequency. And if anyone is at the telegraph station, we can triangulate them after they respond. ACI has signal triangulators, but they're huge. There's no way we can ship them here and install them without the enemy knowing exactly what we're doing. 
I'm going to update the civil court in City Hall about this. Could you talk to Chi and ask him if it's possible to make a miniature signal triangulation device? If there is, then we're all set. Good thing we looked into the whole sheet music thing, huh? All right, talk soon. Let's do this. Well, that's exciting. Greetings. Recovering well after the debacle over in Town Square, I hope? Yes, yes, I've heard all about it. I like to keep myself informed on cataclysmic events occurring in our city state. It is always good to be where the bullets are not. In any case, you handled yourself spectacularly, so I have heard. Truly impressive. Hmm? A miniaturized triangulation device. And the reason you need to do so is. It's a secret? Fascinating. So, there is more to this water-thieving tale, after all. Well, if you're sworn to secrecy, don't compromise your integrity by telling me. I will find out on my own, anyway. Ah, if you hadn't guessed by my less than astonished reaction to your request, yes, I can help you. The technology already exists. In fact, my grandpa made something similar to locate underwater relics a long time ago. Allow me to explain. Go on, I'm uh, curious. <laughs> Of course, we could simply run a check on all frequencies being broadcast anywhere nearby, see the one in question, then build a highly directional large antenna that would lead us straight to the source. However, this depends on signals being sent out regularly, which I feel I can fairly assume is not the case, being that this is a secret telegraph station. Therefore, we will need three highly directional large antennae. Indeed, showing understanding of a concept outside of your area of expertise. I'm impressed. Now, for this next part, pay attention. Try not to be obtuse. That was a bit of triangulation humor there for you. You see, an obtuse person would not be able to understand a concept as sophisticated as signal triangulation. You, however, are someone who has never displayed any obtuse characteristics. Therefore, there was no reason for me to offer such a warning. That's the joke. Triangulating the signal will allow us to know where the source is within a roughly 0.2 league radius, and all we will need is one outgoing signal to identify it. Oh, you know the frequency they operate on already. I see. Sometimes I feel like you have all the fun. Well, if you know the frequency, we'll just need to track an outgoing signal sometime after we have built and installed the three antennae. Setting up three traces outside of the possible area where the station might be, registering the direction that the signal comes from at each of our locations will allow us to draw three lines on a map that should all intersect directly on top of our secret telegraph station. Rather elementary, nothing you're unfamiliar with. I just thought it might be worthwhile to regale you with a world-famous director cheese thoroughly digestible scientific explanation, in case you need to explain it to someone, uh, obtuse. Very well, that will be 20 data disks. By your look, you're probably wondering why I'm asking for that even during such precarious times. Well, I'm stuck with this overly bureaucratic mechanic handed down by the higher-up, so I'm sorry. Thank you. I will send you the diagram for the triangulator as soon as they are finished. Best of luck. Working on that. All right. 
Let's grab our horse real quick. Thank you. He needed it for stuff. For stuff. Uh, let's see. Give me a sign. Facing Elsie. You came! You got here all right? No one followed you? Mama, how is she? Well, she's worried about I know. you. I'm worried about her too. She still ain't healed up yet. But did you see my pa back then? Man, I don't remember the last time he got that angry. There ain't no pleasing him. No matter what I do, he's always gonna see me as some little girl doing stupid stuff. After Ma got hurt, Pa's been on my case non-stop. I get it. My ma getting hurt was my fault. And I'm so sorry it happened. But the martel ducks are supposed to be gentle creatures. That's why I tried to attract one. My old man would know if he'd only read a book about it. But he threw it away. And he doesn't read anyway. <laughs> why did he do that? He said it was because I learned about that soup lure from the book. Said Trudy shouldn't be lending it out that easy. But it's Howlett's book. It's like a piece of history. How could he disrespect him like that? You know, I actually rented out both of Howlett's books. One was the one Pa threw away, full of all these pretty pictures and lure recipes and the like. The other one's called What It Takes to Be a Real Monster Hunter. Pa didn't find that one. I brought it with me and read it cover to cover. The more I read it, the more sense it made. Most monsters out there don't want to hurt us. They just want to be left alone. And the best way to go about it ain't to shoot them up. It's more about how to coexist. Howlett wrote that force should always be the last resort. There's always other ways to get the creatures to behave differently. It's fascinating stuff. Then what do you plan to do? I ain't the kind of person to run away from my problems. Right now, I'm just focusing on that giant duck. It hurt Ma, but I don't know why. And I reckon it can hurt more folks. I've got to right this wrong. I'm going to find it, and I'm going to do it my way. I ain't going to go in wildly waving a shotgun like my pa. I just got to learn about it. It's habits, what it lacks. Howlett did it. Martle did it. I'm going to walk in their footsteps. I ain't figured out what I got to do, though. Oh, if only Pa hadn't thrown the book away. Oh, Get your book back for you. my old man chucked it into the canyon. It ain't gonna be found, I tell you. Just thinking about all the work Howlett put into that book. Oh, yeah. I do have a favor to ask you. I got something. I want you to give it to my Ma. It's a doll from when I was a kid. I kept it in my treasure chest. Please take it to her. 
She'll know I'm okay. Also, would you mind picking some herbs for my ma? I want to make sure she's getting better. I got a little money saved up. You can take it. Phew. I'm feeling a lot better after talking to you. All right. You can head back now. I gotta go find that duck. Uh-oh. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> I got a little nervous. Thank you for the herbs, dearie. I've been feeling a lot better these last couple of days. Hmm? This doll! This was Elsie's favorite doll. Did you meet her? Elsie, my baby! Where is she? Why isn't she with you? Take me to her, quickly! Doesn't want to come back yet. Aw, it's like that. Just Explain Elsie's view. Is that what she's up to? It sounds so dangerous. Ah, oh, forget it. She's like her paw when she's got her mind set on something. Well, there's no stopping her. I'm sorry you've had to deal with all this, dearie. Elsie and Coop are, well, they're birds of a feather. If Elsie doesn't want to come back yet, maybe it's time we gave her a bit of space. I'll talk to Coop. Thank you for being there for her. You've done a lot for her and for us. Just please keep an eye on her. My little girl. She's gone. She'll come back. Where are you, honey? Oh, please. Please help us find our girl. It's kicked in. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Are we boring? I I don't think so, Dan Dan. We do cool stuff together. I don't know. When was the last time we did anything really really exciting? That one time that we built that dope plot plant pot for Seek. Remember? You put those flowers in there? They were super pretty. That was a year ago, Ree Ree. And besides, that was work. Well, I don't know. Maybe we are boring. And it's our anniversary again soon. Aw, dang, Dan Dan, I'm sorry. I love you. I guess I keep forgetting to do these romantic kind of stuff. It's fine. I love you too, and I'm happy as we are, but... Dan Dan. It's nothing. Let's just watch the sunset. Right, finally, that kicked off.
Manila. Hello. Uh, are you busy? We got a favor to ask. Do you know Rian, Ben, and Danby? They're the best. Danby works for me for the church, and she's dedicated as can be. Yeah, and Rian always comes and keeps me company at the shop. Well, anyway, it's their anniversary coming up, and we wanted to give them a surprise. Do you want to give us a hand? Yeah, sure. Right, so the tram system. City Hall has recently put up the budget for it to be reinforced properly so that people can safely use it again. So we thought, what if we made it beautiful and just spectacular? You've seen the view around here, right? Perfect dating spot. What if we can surprise them for their anniversary with a trip over the canyon? This Rian and Danby and that view. Heartwarming imagery, right? You can get that system reinforced, we'll take care of the rest. Here's the commission from City Hall. I sort of kind of pulled rank as the chief inspector and called dibs on it, but that's not important. What's important is that we make it look uh, beautiful and sturdy. We don't want them falling like you and Justice. Right, that'd be a major no-no. We'll go make up a plan, see you at the tram, and thanks for your help. I'm sure they'll love it. From Chi. Uh, attaches the diagram for the triangular needed to triangulate the secret telegraph signal. Trudy filled me in on most of the details. How exciting this all is. It's just like one of those old world entertainment shows that I definitely did not watch. She also asked me to inform you to install the triangulars at the following three locations around Sandrock. And after you're done, go to City Hall. I'm making it here. All right. Got those three done. Uh, let's grab a couple of drums really quick. Thank you. So I gotta get pie. Us. That's it. Rude. 
Sorry. Probably gonna have to go mining for limestone. Flashy. What was flashy? You are. I'm sorry, can you explain that again? The part where you said, this is not a joke. This is not a joke. Grace is with Alliance Central Intelligence. She's leading an operation here, seeking out any further devotion activity. We need to help her in any way that we can. I see. It's just... I was really enjoying all of this, and now I'm not. <laughs> you don't have to be having a good time, Director. Just do your job. Just listen to how she talks to me, Maya. Grace, could you perhaps be a little nicer to Director Chi? Oh, Light. You two are some of the brightest folks we've got in this town. Would it kill you to get along for the sake of the mission? I think they bicker because underneath it all, they're actually a lot alike. <laughs> we are nothing alike. <laughs> oh, fine. We're almost done here anyway. I will tolerate the fry cook's rudeness. Based on the cipher, the new frequency Duvos is operating on is 140.15. The Civil Corps has been on the strictest patrol regimen of their lives. It can't be any of our people. Uh, who... Uh, who could be out there doing something like this? Guess we'll find out soon. Indeed you will. Since the Builder is here, we can assume all the triangulators are in place and operational. All we need now is one strong signal on the 140.15 frequency. Just one constant signal and we'll have the location. Now, if this signal source is very far away, I can't promise anything. So, with that, I turn it over to our mayor. Duvos is going to find out that we did this. How is the Alliance going to react? And then, I mean, we're only going to get one shot at this, right? Just keep them on the line long enough for me to track the signal. Well, they're up to something out there. Probably better to find out what it is on our terms. Right, right. Well... Maybe we should postpone, uh, think things through a bit more. I just say we go for it. We have to tell the Alliance eventually. And like Grace said, Duvos will find out as soon as we do. We can't keep putting this off. What do you think? Call him now. Well, if I'm the only one holding out... All right, make it so. Fire up the telegraph. Ooh, <laughs> that felt decisive. <laughs> Good, we're in agreement then. The antenna are in place. The wire's hot. Everyone ready? All right, so the message. We need to be convincing. Let's start with... Ah, uh, this is sand rock base. Uh, pretend to send a telegram to ourselves? And who says they even think of that place as sand rock base anyway? Oh. Let's say we're their HQ just checking in. I think that's as good as anything. The reverse. I was thinking it was us checking into them. As for the content of the message... Reported? Good idea. Vague enough that we won't arouse suspicion. Sounds... bossish. Plus, they might even reply with something juicy if we're lucky. Okay, let's do this. Got the cipher right here. Report... in... This is HQ. Still nothing? Do they know? Maybe send another message. Ask if they got it. Well, maybe it just didn't work? Contact. Here's the reply. Let me decipher this. HQ. Extraction in final step. Awaiting orders. 
trying to reestablish contact with Tiger. Extraction? A final step? They're looking for Tiger. Keep them on the line. They're asking, Tiger, are you on this frequency? Please respond. Do we respond with something? Uh, my muscles are reading loud and clear. Ah, pretending to be Pen. All right, makes sense. Let's try. Who is this? What is your code, Tiger? Drat! Keep them on the line. Almost there. HQ, please advise. They might not buy that we're Tiger, but they still think HQ is on the line. Give me one more and we've got them. Uh, this Tiger? Attention, attention! Tiger has been compromised, HQ. Switching to Plan Zeta. Signal location received. We've got them. It's no feast of here. Finally! Can't wait to go knock on that doorstep and look him in the eye. What the? HQ, copy. Switching to Plan Zeta. Jam all signals. Occupy Sandrock. Cut the rail links. Signal blackout now. Whale Express en route. Crap. Crap. We've got no signal going out. It really is jammed. Oh, so we can't call for help? Well, this isn't an airship to invade us. Duvos airship can hold armies in them. Why? Why are they doing this? This will mean war with the entire Alliance. The finish the that extraction. That must be it. Extraction, that's the first thing they said in the report. Maybe they're not trying to extract their agents. They're trying to extract something. Something that's worth crossing all political and military red lines over. Who cares who's extracting what? We need to mobilize. They basically said, occupy Sand Rock now. We don't know where they're coming from or how many are there, but we don't have a lot of time. Time to prepare our defenses. The first thing we should do is send someone on horseback to Atara and Highwind. We must get help from the other free cities. Got it. I'll send people right away. Director Chi, what sort of technology does the research center have in the line of defenses? Uh, things that can be built relatively quickly. I cannot believe this day has finally come. Maya, now might be a really good time for you to retroactively absolve me of any technological crimes I hypothetically may or may not have committed in the last, let's say, six, no, seven years. I... all right. Do you remember that discussion we had on the subject of turning Sandrock into a battle fortress? Just in case, and also for science. Yes, you wanted to draw up diagrams for all sorts of swords and guns and bombs that we have absolutely no need for whatsoever. I specifically told you not to do that. Right, well, I was bored. So I did design one that somewhat fits in with that wacky religious doctrine that you all seem to so love and adore. A non-lethal, hyper-compressed air cannon. Never runs out of ammunition, blasts large areas of effect, perfect for those pesky invading armies. I suppose we're going to need everything we can get. So that's a yes? Builder, you're in, right? Yes? Builder? Mayor? Everyone? You had me at cannon. All right! Well, I think that about settles it. I will dig up the design to make the air cannon turret and get it to you as soon as I get back to the research center. In the meantime, I'll figure out what kind of stuff we can commission. Any extra weapons and armor can make a difference. Could we get some more bullets? Maybe some uh, super bullets? Is that a thing? Yes. I trust all of you to come up with the best defenses we can have available on such short notice. I must admit, I'm far from any kind of military expert. Whatever it takes, forget about budget, just protect our town. I'll leave you to it. I need to warn everyone. Yes, ma'am. Uh, but let's not put everyone in a panic.
Blank check. Blank check? Anyone else, or is he more anxiety-inducing than the declaration of war? Please keep your head on your shoulders, Director. This is not a chance for you to play mad scientist or cartoon robots or whatever else it is you might be thinking. We need effective countermeasures, and we need them fast. Yes, yes, I'm familiar with how time works. At least, to the extent that anyone else in my field is. You will have the best I have to offer. That'll have to do. Can you please speak with your cohort, Mion, and tell her that you both now have one million things to build? The Commerce Guild no longer functions, as I understand it. Uh, I can handle Commendable myself. attitude, but not exactly efficient. We need both of you builders cranking out this stuff as fast as possible. The fate of Sandrock may very well depend on how you two perform. I'm, we'll show them Sandrock ain't nothing to mess with. Dig the confidence. All right, let's get to it then. Indubitably. The thing is, is I don't trust me in. <laughs> Everyone, emergency. I have an emergency announcement. We have credible intelligence that the Duvos Empire will be launching an attack on Sandrock very shortly. This is not a drill. We don't know when it is exactly, but they're coming. Duvos? A attack? W why are they attacking Sandrock? What's the Alliance doing? Surely they're coming as well. We don't know the exact reason for this aggression, but all communications have been jammed. We can assume they're also disrupting the rail lines. No one is coming to our aid. We have only ourselves to rely on now. We're drawing up a plan right now for the defense and evacuation of Sandrock. Check with Heidi if you think you can help. For those of you who wish to fight, report to justice. Please let everyone know. We're going to get through this, somehow. That is all. Thank you. Light be with us. Watch this. Should we start packing? Be brave, everyone. That's what the Church of the Light usually has to say. They're brave, and then they're stupid. How are we to stand against the Duvo's army? Hey! What's the matter with y'all? Whatever happened to I Believe in Sanrock? It's, uh, it's a lot to take in, son. Well, I still believe in Sanrock, and I ain't letting some Duvo's bozos ruin that... I'm gonna win. That's the spirit, Andy. Oh. We ain't going down without a fight. That said, Sand Rockers, I need two volunteers to ride for Atara and High Wind to get help. Pronto. I'll go. I'm the fastest rider here. All right, that's one. I volunteer as tribute. Maybe. It's gonna be dangerous, partner. You sure you're up for this? I've made up my mind already. Oh, Riri, I've never seen you like this. I'm tired of waking up at 11.30 and getting around to doing something by 2, and then sitting around thinking, ah, well, most of the day is gone, kind of too late to get anything done today anyway. From now on, I'm going to be the man I always knew I could be, a real father to our future child, Dan Dan. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just want to smooch ya. Come here, you. Ah, tut tut, my turtle dove. I must defer your loving embrace until I can face you as a man deserving of such sweetness. Uh -huh. Go get Logan. He'll need his help. Got it. Be safe and Godspeed. I'm off. Goodbye, Sandrock. The old Rion you knew shall not return. The next time you see me, I will be a man. Uh, here are the diagrams for the air cannon turret as well as its ancillary power supply unit. In more peaceful times, I'd be overwhelmed with joy by such uh, beautiful creations, but alas, it isn't meant to be. Please install it in front of the city hall when completed. Hopefully, this will defend Sandrock. Uh, immortal invaders eminent, local only. This is not a drill. Sandrock Civil Corps has intercepted messages on an encoded telegraph channel uh, revealing plans to attack Sandrock. 
Repeat, this is not a drill. The Duvos army is attacking. Do not panic. If you wish to help, report to the local corps officer and ask for an assignment. Important information for those intending to leave Sandrock. Do not attempt to leave the city alone. Do not attempt to leave the city without an experienced traveler in your party. Clearly, clearly defined roles in a party, so there is no conflict of responsibility. Do not try to escape on main roads. Duvos' presence is unknown. They may be anywhere, but they'll definitely be on the main roads. Group of soldiers may be lying in ambush or have set traps. Bring food, medicine, and other supplies. You don't know how long you'll be on the trail. Bring reading material. Plan your route with the map and compass. Travel at night and hide during the day. Avoid making camp anywhere with only one exit. Having an escape route in mind wherever you are. Communication in Rock is jammed, but be aware that friendlies are not expecting you. And you'll need to uh, you'll need a way to identify yourself. Carry a demo carry a dummy wallet and an accessible bag that has medium sum of goals as well as fake papers to hand over in a robbery. Pack all your supplies before you sleep in case you need to make a quick getaway. Good luck and I believe in Sandrock. Advanced Assembly Station. Chromium steel plates. That was uncomfortable. Let's try to figure out. Welcome back. I couldn't remember how to upgrade the crafting uh, this platform here, uh, but I got it now. Uh, two more. All right. You know, the one thing we didn't do is they didn't have us follow that signal. We worked so hard to figure out where that signal was coming from, and then <laughs> we didn't follow it. from Justice. Mabel said you spoke to her about Elsie. She decided to give Elsie some space. I still think we should go get her since it's unsafe out there, but I'll respect the parents' wishes and believe in Elsie as well. Thank you for your help. Owen! Owen! Thank you. What's uh, going on? I'm going over here. We got to talk to you. I guess we should probably go do that, huh? Hey, I heard the details. Never thought I'd see a war this far into the free cities. I guess our builders will need to do our part to protect the town. And with no commissioner, I guess it's on us to figure out how we want to do this. You know, I did always kind of imagine that one day one of us would be calling the shots, but I never imagined it would be like this. Well, come, missioner. This is it. Uh, what do you want me to build? Um... 
Help with materials. Got it. Yeah, good call. I'm kind of on top of the game down in the ruins. All right, let's do this. No pressure's gonna stop us. Okay, I'm off to my workshop. Good luck. I can't believe she really ran away. She was always talking about it before, but... I thought it was just one of her fantasies. I hope she comes back soon. I miss her. Hey! I heard from Musa that you'll be handling the brunt of the Road to Porsche project's work. That's awesome! Uh, thanks, I'm excited. Yeah, you're gonna rock it. <laughs> Get it? Smashing rocks? I'll be holding down the fort while you're handling all the big stuff. Any routine repairs, low priority commissions, I'll handle all of that so you can focus on what's important. Let's do our best! Let's do it. Fantastic. This will be the centerpiece of our defense. Well done. What's so You'll be the one who will pilot this turret. Uh, why not you? I cannot pilot a turret in a real battle. I am scared. <laughs> Despite the thousands of hours of combat training I've imagined in my head, I... I've never fought anyone before. The rest of the Civil Corps is incompetent, as well as technologically illiterate. The only one who stands a chance against an army in the turret is you. Hey, now? How are things going here? We're ready. I've got the defense plan ready to go. Good. Then let's have one last meeting to go over all the plans. Welcome, everyone. When I took this job, I never thought I'd be a wartime mayor, but here we are. So, tell me about our defenses, Sheriff. Yes, ma'am. My plan is to set up a perimeter around Marta Square to draw all enemy fire, while placing snipers on top of roofs along the main street. I'll be placing our best fighters here. The centerpiece of our defense will be the air cannon turret developed by Director Chi and the Builder. We'll be funneling enemies towards it. Hopefully it'll work as advertised. We'll also man a post by the apartment so we don't get flanked from the back. All civilians will be evacuated to the temple, as I do not believe the Duvos military will attack that building. That's, uh, that's about it. That's as good a plan as any. Just hope our riders can call in reinforcements before it's too late. Right. Uh, well, there's nothing left to do other than wait. Everyone? Do your best to get some rest. I love the hang. Yes, sure, we can hang. Oh, I know. Terrified. Elsie and her pouting is gonna miss the big fight. If there's gonna be a big fight, it could just be a, a peter out thing where like nothing really happens. We'll see. 